On today's menu is a dal recipe that I have cooked with vegetables. It is a meal by itself, very nutritious and healthy. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. I have taken a combination of three lentils, where I have used a fourth of a cup each of red lentils, that is masoor dal, moong dal, that is yellow split moong lentils, and matar ki dal, that is yellow split peas. Now my friends, you can use any one of these lentils. But this combination works really great with each lentil having its own flavor. Wash the lentils very well and then put them in a pressure cooker. You can also make this without a pressure cooker. The only differences are you will need more water to cook the dals and the cooking time will be more. I added a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a teaspoon of salt. Then three cups of water and I prefer using hot water to speed up the cooking process. and a teaspoon of oil to prevent foaming. If you are using a regular stovetop pressure cooker, first allow the cooker to come up to full pressure on high heat and then lower the heat to low and pressure cook it for 8 minutes. Since I am using an instant pot, so the pressure cooking time will be 10 minutes. Next coming to the vegetables, I have used cauliflower, cut them into small florets. Then carrots which I have cut into different shapes because I like it in that way. Then this is chayote and I will show you how to cut this in case you are new to this vegetable. And I have also used frozen green beans. You can use fresh green beans if you want. I have used sweet potatoes which I have kept in water after cutting so that they do not get discolored. Now this is what is known as chayote over here in the USA. Please let me know in the comment section what is this vegetable called at your place. It is known as squash in India and sometimes in some regions it is also known as chow chow. Though it is bland in flavor but it tastes wonderful in curries. I like them more than zucchini or other summer squashes because they hold on to their shape very well even after cooking for a long time. Discard the central seed and chop them into small cubes. It gets a little slippery after peeling so my friends be very careful when cutting. While the dal is getting cooked, I will start cooking the veggies. Heat oil over medium high heat. Once the oil turns hot, add the sweet potatoes, carrots and chayote. Add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder Next add a tablespoon each of finely grated ginger and garlic and stir on medium high heat for a few minutes. Then cover on for about 2 minutes. Lid off and next in line is the cauliflower. If using fresh green beans, you can add them along with the cauliflower. I added about a teaspoon of salt. Then stir for another 3 to 4 minutes on medium high heat. Next add just 4 tablespoons of water and immediately put the lid on and simmer on low heat till the veggies start to get tender. Coming to the dal, after pressure cooking is done, allow all the pressure to be released naturally and only then open the lid of the cooker. Then my handy dandy wooden wandy brings everything together. You can also use a whisk to do this. And see how smooth it is? I will be adding another cup of hot water because a dal with vegetables is always best when it is runny. But at the same time, if you want your dal to be on the thicker side, then you don't add water. It's your kitchen, your dal. So you are the boss of your kitchen and please do whatever you want to do. This looks perfect for me. Now let's go back to the veggies. So after 8 minutes my veggies have started getting tender. Do not wait for them to fall apart because they will also get cooked in the dal later on. Next comes a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder and a teaspoon of ground cumin that is jeera powder. Add some chopped green chilies, 
which is totally optional and tomatoes which I do not like chopping too fine for this recipe. Stir on high heat for about 2 minutes and then the dal tumbles down with all its glory. Now is the time to add frozen green beans. You can use any vegetables for this recipe. I use whatever is in season. Now cover it on medium low heat for a few minutes. In the meantime, take oil in another pan. When the oil gets hot, add some dry red chilies and a teaspoon of Bengali 5 spices that is spanch furun. I have a video on it, the link to which I have given in the description box. If you do not want to use spanch furun, you can use cumin seeds instead. But my friends, I will highly recommend using spanch furun because it brings in such a wonderful flavor. Roast the spices on low heat till they are fragrant and then add thinly sliced onions along with a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Fry the onions on medium high heat till they start developing a brown color but you do not want a very deep dark brown color. See this is how they should look. Next add a tablespoon of ground coriander. Give a stir just for a few seconds and add the vegetable dal to this. Now questions must be coming to your mind that why wasn't the onions added along with the veggies and why this extra step? It is because this last step will bring in that extra smoky flavor of onions and panch furun to the dal. This method is known as adding tarka. Usually you will see the tarka being added to the dal. But in Bengali cooking, the dal is added to the tarka. Let the dal come up to a boil after being added to the tarka and then switch off the stove. Add chopped coriander leaves, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and I will sign off the dish with a tablespoon of freshly made ghee. Now my friends, you do not have to use freshly made ghee or you may skip ghee altogether. I made ghee just a while ago. So it was screaming to be added. I'm telling you my friends, this dal will be your favorite. Try it with any vegetables of your choice and you are going to love it. I also have a vegetable dal recipe where I didn't use any onions nor garlic. That video is showing up on screen. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.